I'm Christy J with Free Spirit, and we are sewing through the Entangled Roundabout program. But first, we're gonna talk about half square triangles. I'm gonna show you three ways, three easy, easy ways to make half square triangles. Are we ready to start? Okay. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're gonna get, we're gonna cut our fabric just like the pattern says. Um, so two pieces, two squares. We're gonna put these right sides together, okay? And first of all, we're just gonna mark a line from corner to corner. So you can use your chalk pencil or your marking pencil, whatever you've got, and you're just gonna mark a line. And it's harder to see this one on film, so I'm just gonna use a I'm just gonna use a regular marker just so we can see what that looks like. Okay. So you see that? We're gonna go and we're gonna sew a quarter inch on this side from the line and a quarter inch from this side on the line. Okay? Are we ready to do that? Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're going to line up your quarter inch foot with the line that you just drew on your, on your squares, okay? And we're gonna start sewing. One thing, um, y'all, if you're doing, if you're piecing, I like to piece with a little bit skinnier stitch than normal, about a 2.0, so about two millimeter instead of a 2.5 millimeter works really well. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a quarter inch down the other side. Some of the machines actually have a setting, like in their quilting menu, that will just set everything up for you. Okay. Cut that. Okay. So what we've done, I'm gonna bring it to this camera over here. What we've done is we've drawn a line down the center and then we've done, we've stitched a line a quarter inch from the drawn line, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ruler, okay? And I'm just gonna put it right on that line that I drew earlier. Okay. Take my rotary cutter line that up real well. Take my rotary cutter. I'm just going to slice it in two. Okay. So now what we have is two half square triangles. Okay. So let me show you a few other things. So let me, what we're going to do for this one, um, Linda McGibbon, who wrote the Entangled program, she actually has you do oversized triangles, half square triangles, and then you cut them down to size and they actually turn out really pretty perfect actually. So I'm gonna take this over and I'm gonna press it, okay? And when we're pressing, we always press, um, she's gonna tell you throughout how to press each row, but typically we're gonna press to the darker side, okay? The darker fabric. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay the fabric down with the dark side up because we're gonna press towards the dark side. And normally I just stick an iron on it, just up and down to get that seam set in, okay? And then very carefully, you're just gonna roll it back. Don't, don't push it too hard because we don't wanna stretch that bias, but we're just gonna roll it out really well and press it. One of my other favorite things is the tailor clapper. So what I'm gonna do is I lay that tailor clapper right on that seam and it actually pulls out some of the heat. And when you use it with like a wool mat, it's almost like pressing from both sides because you've got the wool mat on the bottom that kind of traps the heat and then that wooden clapper that pulls the heat upward. And it's kind of heavy so it makes that nice and flat. So here's what you have, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it down to size. So you come back to your cutting mat. You can actually take your ruler and I take this um, 
45 degree angle here and I put that right on my seam line. Let's move it up just a smidge. And then I'm going to cut this side. And you can actually rotate this mat if you want to, which is nice. Cut down that side. Get rid of those. And then just keep the rotating mats really nice if you have one. It's pretty awesome. So then I'm going to go here. And I'm going to cut the other sides. But the nice thing is with the rotating mat, you're not picking up that piece of fabric. Pretty darn perfect to me. Okay. Okay, we're ready for half square triangle number two. So on this one, we're gonna use these clearly perfect slotted rulers by New Leaf Stitches. They're very, very cool. Here's what they look like. And there is actually a combo pack that comes with two. So the trimmer A, trimmer B is what you want. Um, and the nice thing about these, so remember a few minutes ago, we made our half square triangle by drawing a line in the center, doing stitching a quarter inch from the line and then slicing down the middle. So we have a half square triangle. Okay, so let me show you how to use this cool ruler. So remember Linda wrote these, Linda McGibbon wrote these to where they, um, they were bigger than what we actually needed. So I'm gonna find what we need on here and just, you actually position it. You position the seam on, you position the seam line on this line here. Okay, it's pretty fun. And then you go here. You can tilt it a little bit and go here, which is pretty nice, okay? So instead of going all the way around, and slicing on four sides, you're just slicing on two, and it should be exactly the right size when you press it open. Let me press it real quick. Okay. Okay, and here's what we have, a half square triangle. Pretty easy, pretty fun, and these are the clearly perfect slotted trimmers. Okay, now we're ready for half square triangle technique number three. These are triangles on a roll by It's So Emma, and basically they are papers that you actually sew on. Um, it's pretty easy, so let me show you. It actually says on the papers, there's directions, but it also tells you how wide to cut your paper if you're gonna go all the way across, okay? So what I've done is I've put two pieces of fabric right sides together. And then you just wanna stick your pin somewhere in the middle because you're gonna actually be stitching on the dotted lines, okay? So you're stitching on the dotted lines so you don't want your pins in the dotted lines. So I just usually just stick my pins, you know, in between, okay? So let me show you how I do this on the machine, okay? So I take it to the machine. And I'm going to, just like we did last time, I'm going to actually put my quarter inch foot against the solid line. Okay. And I'm just gonna follow the dotted line. Okay. One thing you wanna do is maybe decrease your stitch length just a bit. Okay. I'm gonna do mine about 1.6 millimeters, which is tiny, but it will help with perforating the papers later. Okay. So just keep following. And normally when I'm using the triangles on a roll, I just um, take off as small chunks. Okay, so if there's 60, if you need 60 half square triangles, then I'm just going to do them like maybe in 10 or 15s. I'll show you that in just two seconds, kind of what that looks like. And basically there are arrows showing you which way to go, but you can go different ways as well, just as long as you stitch through all the dotted lines. We're 
good to go. Okay, so let's come back over to this camera here. So as you can see, I have stitched, do you see my stitching? I've stitched all of the dotted lines. So I'm gonna remove these pins. Okay, ready for the magic? It's pretty awesome. All right, what we're gonna do is take our ruler again and we may actually need a bigger ruler. Let me grab it real quick. We'll do this one, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clean up the edges first. So I'm gonna go put the ruler against those solid lines on the outside. I'm just gonna cut it real easily. A new blade really makes a huge difference, guys, too. Okay, that one over here. So line it up by the, with the edge, clean it up. that. Okay. Okay. Get rid of that. Okay. So I've cleaned up the edges as you can see. Now I'm going to go through all the solid lines, okay? I prefer to go through these first and not between first. And the reason being is because if you go through the in-between and things get off kilter, it's a little harder. It's not hard, but it's just easier to line up, okay? These are the more important lines and I always try to get the most important things first. Okay, so we're gonna Put the ruler there. Okay. I'll just try to keep that together. Rotate my mat. I go here. Do a cut. Try to keep that even, which is so much easier when you're not with the camera. Okay, cut that one. Okay. Now I'm going to rotate my mat just a smidge, and I'm going to go through the, the solid lines that are in between my stitch lines. Okay, just going to go here. Add a little bit here. Almost done. Rotating that mat again. That's why I really love that rotating mat. Go through there. And one more. Okay. Let me show y'all what I have. It's pretty amazing. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve half square triangles, which is pretty amazing. Okay. So, um, and they should be two size. So, um, it, they're very accurate. I've tested them every, each way, and they're all accurate. Okay. So to remove the papers on these babies, remember we decreased our stitch length just a tinge. Um, so you're just gonna hold your thumb right here in the middle of that seam, and you're gonna go and just pull it off, okay? These are fun to remove while you're watching TV or to have a loved one removed for you while you're sewing, okay? But pretty easy. Just rip it off. It's kind of fun to get your aggressions out. and you have all the half square triangles you need. So like I said, um, if you use these, you're gonna have to cut just a little different from Linda's pattern because she has you cutting individual squares. So you have to think through that before, but it is a nice handy tool. Um, so what I did when I used them is I actually figured out how many half square triangles I needed. And just remember you can get two from each square. And then I cut a chunk off that was manageable under the machine. 
and I did them that way, okay? So like one round calls for maybe 60 and I did like 15 at a time or 16 at a time, okay? So let me go, I'm gonna press it real quick and let you see what it looks like. And there we go, half square triangle, half square triangle, half square triangle, easy as one, two, three. Thank you. While all of those half square triangle methods are just super easy and super fun, just wanted to say a word about the half square, about the um, triangles on a roll, half square triangles. Um, these are fun to use and easy to use. The kit was actually calculated based on Linda McGibbon's pattern, the entangled pattern. Um, so definitely if you're gonna use these, just be conservative with your fabric. Um, don't go all willy nilly because we wanna make sure that you have adequate fabric. Thanks so much. Enjoy your half square triangles.